Honest, I regret doing this stuff. I really regret it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mona, and yeah, this vlog is all about traveling as a dependent to the UK. It's a day, you know, I'm um, filming. I'll be filming our journey like me and my daughter. If you haven't watched my previous video on my travel um, prep, you know, I started recording like a month before my official travel date, which is 17th of October. So today is like the 10th of October. I think it's already past 12 a.m. and my flight is for 8:40 p.m. on the 17th. So it's like less than 48 hours to my travel time. I'm so excited for this new phase of my life. And you know, and I'm also anxious at the same time. You know, the whole stuff everybody says about immigration, you know, points of entry, blah blah blah. So, yeah, I'm so anxious. And also, traveling with a baby always can be very stressful. Just like the flight we um, took from Abuja to Lagos this night, Elora was super cranky. This girl was crying, screaming. Someone that doesn't even know, we think I kidnapped her or something. Like, people kept turning and looking at them. And looking at me like who is this kid that is crying you know so yeah i'm just really anxious but i don't know how the journey will be but i commit it into god's hand like god should just take control because honestly i don't have the strength to deal with elora and her drama so yeah i'm about to go to bed now he just came back from abuja and you know i showered and all of that so yeah i want to go to bed now i'll see you guys in the morning bye hi guys good morning yeah welcome back to another video so today is um 16th of october if you guess right yeah i'm traveling tomorrow so i just showered now i want to go and do my lashes but yeah i woke up very early my mother-in-law is around so we packed my stuff like everything is all packed i'm going to show you guys so i want to be on my way to make my lashes when I get back, I'm going to make a Laura's hair and do other stuff. When we are packing the bag, I actually, we had actually had to make a third bag, you know, to take out the least important stuff. Like because when we finished packing, everything was so much it was way above the 23-23 kg, and I'm not ready to start paying, you know, that huge amount at the airport. So what we just did is to create an extra bag, which they will send to me later when we are settling down and all of that so the food items i think we divided it into two then even the clothes the one we won't be wearing like right now we packed it in the other bag so i'll show you guys the bag right now What are you doing with this? Don't drop it. Hi guys, so I'm at the lashes place now. I want to do the lashes. I left the Laura as home. She's sleeping. <laughs> Would you let me come and do it before she wake up? Honestly, I just came home now. Um. So unhappy, like I don't like the lashes at all. I had to even cut it. They just helped me to cut it now, and this is what it looks like. So I'm even trying to see if I can remove it. I browsed online and they said if you use cutting cutting wood and oil, it can help to remove it. So I want to see if I can remove it. It's so uncomfortable, it's so painful. Like the lady doesn't know how to do it at all. I don't like it. Ah, no, 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 no. Hi guys, I'm all ready. I can see I pulled out these lashes. This other one refused to come off, so I don't have any choice than to leave it. I'll, I'll keep trying to remove it and see if it will work. So I already requested my ride. It's almost here. I think it's five minutes away. So 
So yeah, I'll go ahead and go outside now. There's Aurora. Yeah, so let's get going. I'm going to miss you. Bye house. Thanks for serving us. Let me wear my shoe. So I'm going to turn the camera around. Oh, <laughs> let me just speak. I don't know what happened. Do you know I didn't know that I'm actually entitled to three um suitcase, like three twenty-three kg. I thought it was only two, so I even packed another one saying that they will help me send it next week, not knowing that El Elora is actually entitled to her own bag. I'm so happy as if I just won the job for them. Eh? I quickly added more stuff, I went to buy more milk for her and other stuff that we are traveling with. Mama, let's go. Come down, come down. No, Mama, come down. My baggage was overweight, so I had to buy another one was to you know, split it and they took some home. Honestly, if you can make sure you buy your scale before leaving the house. And then they also asked me for my my baby's best certificate, you know, to prove I'm her mom because we don't bear the same son name. And then um, what again did they even ask? Me? Okay, for my husband's BRP system. So if you're traveling with your child, like a dependent or something, make sure you have their best certificate, make sure you have your marriage certificate, your husband's BRP if it's already there and all of those stuff to get. <gasps> you see the crowd here, yeah, people are much. I want to turn my camera around so you guys can see.
So we have gotten to Qatar now. <laughs> I'm on my way to get a tree. I can see it over there. So oh my god, I'm going to pass out. <laughs> ah, honestly, if you are watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel, like please do. to make this video I came into the changing room, the baby room, to change Elora's diaper. To change her diaper and her clothes. Just finished changing Laura's diaper and her clothes because she really messed it up. So yeah. Now I want to go and go in. Look at how this lash messed up my eyes. Like my eyes is so is it red or pink right now? You even think I have COVID or something. Honestly, I regret doing this stuff. I really regret it. It looks worse than this in reality and it hurts so bad even though we cut the lens I, could, I tried to remove it but i couldn't remove it it's so painful is for 7.50 a.m. 
I think it's just 6.21 or so. Yeah, it's 6.21. So we're here waiting until they call us in. So I just want to quickly give Elora her milk. So that if she wants to pull, let her pull now. Let me clean her up before we go into the airline. Because cleaning her up in the airline is more difficult. Which was why I didn't give her the milk truck um, um, last night. Like from our trip, our trip from Nigeria to here. I didn't give her milk. If you saw earlier, she ate a lot of rice and snacks and so many other stuff. So yeah, because her milk tends to, you know, make her full and she does business immediately. So I'm just here, tired. Yes, I don't wait for this journey to end. I'm already getting beaked by the, you know, like the people around everywhere is you know hmm I the smell of the go 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 I'm going to put my camera around so you can see what the waiting area looks like Place, but it turned out to be nothing like he only asked me um, does my husband live here and I said he recently came and that was just his stamp to our passport <laughs> and we left so yeah oh my god I'm so excited journey of over 17 hours we are finally here Laura really tried she was so good see you guys later from the airport now glory be to god everything went smoothly my whole scared for point of entry god of took everything now i'm at
These are tiny. Mm. Very tiny. You know how sea road is on the road they use to pass. Babe, this feels like over there, bro. Mm. <laughs> Dubai feels different. This one is a different feeling entirely. Oh, Dubai is fine. In time, but this one feels like you know those movies we watch. Uh, <laughs> it's more like hi guys good morning welcome back so yesterday after we got back from the airport i said i was going to gist you guys what happened at the point of entry i see nigerians sometimes saying we like getting unnecessarily scared and spreading lies and whatnot before now like i used to think that point of entry looks like you know all those cotton over that, that you see military men carrying gun. <laughs> like when you get there they'll be asking you um where are you going to you know who are you going to see because i remember there was a time i went to cotton that's that one so that man who stopped me interrogating me who am i going to see where does the person stay i was so scared you know because they had gone and all of that so i was thinking like since i've been hearing this whole point of entry immigration i thought it was that whole setting you know the way those barrack um you know puts and uh, what was it but i thought that's the way this uk will look funny enough like it's just the way the dubai immigration stuff is like you just see immigration people in the counter there like with friendly faces it's completely different from what i thought it was and people are not even much unlike when my husband went like there were so much people coming from nigeria and other places but yesterday when we got there like people are not even much at all i think in front of me it was just like five people so when we even got to my turn i was still shaking because you know um you know how we do all of those stuff so i was kind of scared like you know start asking me for stuff that i know i can't provide at the moment so when i got there the man was like he read out my name i stand i said yes i smiled he now asked of um, elora i was about turning her he was like he already saw her face smiling when we were coming so no need for that so he just asked me like have my husband been living here i said no that he recently came he now said okay he now asked me again if he's a student i said yes just tap my passport and was like i should enjoy my stay in the uk i was like is that it he said yes okay <laughs> i was like i was not smiling i collected the passport everything felt like i was dreaming because i was still expecting okay where's your proof of funds where's this 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 i guess um have you gotten a, an accommodation i was thinking they were going to ask me all of those questions but they didn't ask me this was just the two questions he asked if my husband have been staying in the uk or if and, and if he it's a student that was it yeah so that was how everything went it was even in nigeria that the um immigration people asked me for his brp i don't know and then my daughter's birth certificate that was the reason they asked me so if you're coming as a dependent honestly i don't think there's any reason for you to be you know scared and whatnot because i know there are a lot of talk out there people say proof and um, point of entry proof of fund for this 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 that, 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 that. i don't actually i don't think there's need for all of those things just pray you know because sometimes some people's village can follow can can, can be waiting for their father there because it's not me uh -huh. but once you pray and god will go before you but i believe that was just what happened i didn't spend up to two minutes there and that was it so this is um today is um 19th of september we left nigeria on the 17th we crossed here on the 18th so today is 19th we'll be going out later to a charity store we want to buy stroller for elora so yeah i'll take you guys with me but the travel vlog ends here thank you so much for watching and do look out for my next video because i'll be recording uh, you know um us going to the charity store and stuff like that so thank you so much for watching please remember to like and subscribe to my channel it means a lot until next time you can see the stress i went through recording and um, the whole travel experience despite carrying a baby and my hand luggage and all and stuff but i still try to record this for you guys so please help me subscribe to my channel 
Bye-bye.